the mother of an 11-year-old Perth girl who suffered a catastrophic brain injury after a severe electric shock at their public housing property, says she expects to get an ex gratia payment from the state government. Denisha Woods was shocked with up to 230 volts when she touched a garden tap at a Belden property in March. Housing Minister Peter Tinley met her mother Lacey Harrison on Wednesday and said he supported her right to take legal action against the state government. Scroll down for video Denisha Woods, pictured, was shocked by up to 240 volts of electricity at her Perth home. Her mother, Lacey Harrison, and a neighbor were both shocked trying to help Denisha. Ms. Harrison said it was likely the case would be settled out of court if the family received the support Mr. Tinley outlined in a five-point plan. At the end of the day it's not worth the hassle, I need to be there for my daughter and my kids, she told AAP on Thursday. Doctors have said Denisha is incontinent and wheelchair-bound, however, Ms. Harrison is hopeful she will regain more speech. She said Nan the other day and sometimes she